Good morning, it's day 92, and I am coming to you from the Rangeley Saddleback Inn. Um, you're not gonna have a day 91 video because I did not record yesterday. It rained all day. Uh, I was drenched from before the time I woke up until about 5 p.m. So no video for day 91. Day 92, we're going to start that uh, with a couple of trail angels taking me back to trail. Excuse me. As I was coming down the mountains yesterday, I was praying for somebody to pick me up, somebody who I could trust and be comfortable with. And at the bottom of the hill, about five minutes after I got there, I had uh, trail angels pick me up. And here they are. So Kate and John Hack picked me up, that's his trail name, uh, picked me up with their dog and gave me a ride into Rangeley. They dropped me off at the Outfitter. I walked to the local restaurant, got some dinner, and then reserved a room here at the inn. So I was drenched. Like I said, I think my backpack weighed an extra 10 pounds from all the rainwater. And I'm not really looking forward to going back out onto trail today because I know it's going to be flooded still and there's potentially rain coming tomorrow. So I'm just trying to keep my spirits up. Hiking in the rain is not fun and it is not my idea, ideal circumstances. And I also have to get new shoes because the treads on the bottoms of my shoes are basically gone. I don't know if you can tell, but walking on the rocks, there's just very little traction left on these and I have been slipping quite a bit. So it's got me nervous on the wet rocks and I'm going extra slow. And that makes it kind of difficult to do the mileage that I want to be doing. So today is supposed to be a 14.9 mile day to get me to the shelter that I want to be at. So once I get back to trail, which is going to be late getting back to trail, I need to move as quickly as I possibly can. So we'll see how much videoing I get in today. Um, I made some reservations for a few days from now. I'm going to be staying at the Hostel of Maine, which is supposed to be a really, really nice hostel. Uh, so I might do some more slack packing a few days from now. So as I go along the day, I'll show you something, any in interesting things I find. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye bye to my little room. It was a nice respite from the rain. Saddle back in. I am walking up the road. There's an IGA store up there, and I need to get a few items for resupply to last me like three and a half days, which will get me to the hostel of Maine, which I'm really excited to stay. It's a nice hostel, and the only negative thing is that my food is so heavy. <laughs> so already my food bag has probably two days worth of food in it. And it's heavier than I would like it to be. But regardless, I need to eat and I'm gonna see what I find. I don't know if this happened in last night's. I'm assuming it wasn't last night's rain, but you can see the washout. the asphalt has actually buckled and here it's washed out I think this is from last night it looks really recent 
That's scary. Wow. I have a couple of rivers I'm supposed to ford over the next few days and that makes me a little apprehensive about that too. I don't even know where to walk here. A beautiful find I couldn't not show you. Nice. So I am going down trail today at a much quicker pace than yesterday. You can see there's still some water on the trail and there's lots of mud so that is slippery but definitely not as challenging as yesterday was. So that's a huge bonus in my eyes. And I am still trying to get to the shelter that's 15 miles up trail. Piazza Lean To, I believe it's what it's called. So I'm hopeful that I don't slip drop my phone, hurt myself, anything like that. <clears throat> and I really would like to stay in the shelter tonight. I know, call me crazy because I never want to stay in the shelters. But if it's going to rain, that's where I would prefer to be simply because I've got everything. My tent such um, dried out. So, all right, I am going to put my phone away and focus on the trail. Is that kind of good spot? <laughs> okay, ta ta. And this is how quickly things can change. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually running water on the trail. It's giving me nightmare reminders of Vermont. And I just heard something in the woods. I'm gonna fall over because I'm looking in the woods. I'll be back with you. So I'm here with Fearless, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about why she's out here on trail. So I say that I am hiking for those who can't. Uh, I have multiple sclerosis, and I am out here to raise funds and awareness for multiple sclerosis. Most of the money that we raise will go toward keeping people as mobile and independent as possible for as long as possible. And one of the other things, one of my favorite things that I'm doing right now is that if you go to fearsomeis.org, all one word, fearsomeis.org, um, you, if you have a loved one or if you have multiple sclerosis, then there is a hiker dedication button on there. And so you can... Um, Click on that and answer a couple of questions, and then you will be able to, or I will be able to see, and I will dedicate uh, uh, that day's hike to whoever you put up there. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm happy about it, too. So Anything else you want to share about your channel um, or your hike? It's been incredible, and we keep meeting <clears throat> great people like Miss <laughs> Holly here, and so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And... Um, Oh, there's been this thing that happens on trail. It's called rain. What's that? I, just, I don't know. I've like, you it know, creates this thing on the ground called mud. Weird. What? <laughs> so yeah, we are hiking through mud and muck pretty much all the time. It feels yeah. like awesome. Well, so thank you so much for sharing, yeah. and I look forward to seeing you down trail. All right. Bye. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. 
so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. I am at the Little Swift River Pond, and they actually have a couple of canoes here that you can take out on the pond. And if I had more time and wasn't trying to get to the shelter before rain, I think I would do that. A kayak would be better for one person, but... So guess what I found growing on top of a rock? Yes. We've got blueberries. Yes, I'm picking them. And yes, I'm eating them too. I'll just bungee it on this. I've seen the punch you did before. There was that one guy who did have like that. Would not be crossing that. If it weren't for this bridge. I'm nearing the Piazza Rock Shelter, or Lean To they call them here, and I wanted to close out this video because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people there, and I'm still not comfortable filming in front of a lot of people, so it was a great day. I got a lot of uh, miles in. There was some pretty good terrain to, to walk on. In spite of the roots, um, the roots are still hard, hard, hard on my feet, but um, I'm just noticing a little cave. Um, I'll show it to you after. So yes, the roots are hard on my feet, but I managed to get 14 point something miles in today. And tomorrow I only planned an eight mile day to the next shelter. However, I'm gonna get up early, get to the next shelter and see if I want to go on. So we'll see what tomorrow brings, but today was a great day. And again, thank you for following along. And here's that little cave I just saw. Who wants to go explore? All right, tell me about this hat. Uh, so this is a yarn that I brought from Tennessee and the colors are magenta and blue and the name is Wildberry because it was inspired by Wildberry, who's right next to me, <laughs> who we met hiking and it's just a good name and, a good, and good colors. Beautiful colors, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and it'll eventually have a crown. It'll be adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And keep my head warm. There you go. <laughs> All right.
those of you who might like to dig a little bit deeper and get to know me a little bit more, I've designed a membership called Campfire Calls. It's a donation-based membership. You simply click in the link in the comments section or in the description of this video, and you will get to join me around eight to 10 campfires along the Appalachian Trail as I journey from Harpers Ferry to Katahdin in Maine, and then back from Harpers Ferry to Georgia. And you'll just get to be able to connect with me on a Zoom call and chat, ask questions, and find out more about how the hike is going. So if you'd like to join me, be sure to click the link in the description or in the comment section of this video. Thank you, God bless, and see you next time.